The call was made by academic and royal historian Kate Maltby. Last week five of Meghan Markle's friends attempted to counter the negativity in an interview with People magazine. Ms Maltby argued the monarchy cannot be made truly inclusive and suggested that Duchess and Prince Harry walk away. Writing for CNN, she said, the simple solution is to abolish an absurd and anachronistic system. If Meghan and Harry want to be truly radical, perhaps they should walk away completely. They could have no greater influence on royal life than by denouncing it. Meghan and Harry married last May in a star-studded ceremony at Windsor Castle. Five months later, in October, the couple announced they are expecting their first child. Read more, Meghan Markle vs. Princess Diana history is repeating itself Ms. Maltby argued it is particularly difficult to integrate Meghan into the royal setup due to her former life as a successful actress. She commented, at the heart of this problem, is the fact that Meghan has a personality and a prior public footprint, neither of which royals should have. Traditionally, royal strategists have decreed that royals should cultivate as much distance as possible from the public. In her academic role, Ms. Maltby has focused on the Elizabethan era, including the Queen's intellectual pursuits. Read more, Meghan and Harry spend Valentine's apart she has also written about politics and culture for a variety of publications. However Ms. Maltby did agree that much of the media scrutiny is legitimate. She wrote, the real problem is that much of this scrutiny is reasonable, but only within the tortured logic of a royal family's very existence. Meghan isn't of celebrity spending only her own money anymore. She is supported by the Sovereign Grant, a system built on British tax money, and by the Duchy of Cornwall. Read more, how much of the news do the royal family really read?